Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to video number 222. And uh, today's video lecture is based on econometric models that involve limited dependent variables. When the dependent variable is continuous, uh, we use a multiple regression model, but sometimes the dependent variable is not continuous, but it is a qualitative or uh, descriptive variables and uh, uh, in that case, we may not use ordinary least squares method. Uh, here is uh, an example of uh, limited dependent variables. The definition is given mathematically here. Uh, the dependent variable uh, may be binary or, may, or it may be multinomial. So, let us start with the case of a binary dependent variable. Uh, a binary dependent variable is the one which either takes the value of 1 for uh, the presence of the quality or uh, it takes the value of 0 for the absence of that characteristic. Uh, usually, we use linear probability model in that case and uh, that could be written as like in this equation. But the drawback of uh, the linear probability model is that the predicted values are not limited uh, to lie in the range of 0 and 1 but uh, the pred predicted values may lie outside this range. Uh, an alternative to this uh, probability, linear probability model is uh, the probability uh, uh, to, is to model the probability as a function like this. And uh, instead of linear probability model, we may either use probit model or uh, logit model. Now, what is the probit model in case of a uh, probit model, the, uh, we use the standard normal cumulative distribution function which is given like this uh, and this case is referred to as a probit model uh, in which the density function is uh, cumulative uh, is normal. Uh, since it is a non-linear model, it cannot be estimated by our usual method of uh, ordinary least squares. And uh, in case of estimation of the probit model, we use maximum likelihood estimation. An alternative to the probit model is uh, the logit model. And uh, this is uh, another common choice for G function of Z, uh, which has logistic function uh, as a standard logistic random variable. And uh, this is the cumulative density function for a standard logistic random variable. And the function is given like this. And this case is referred to as a logit model or sometimes as a logistic regression model. Both functions have similar shapes. They are increasing in Z most quickly around 0. Probits and logits. Both the probit and logit are nonlinear and requires maximum likelihood estimation. As I mentioned earlier, that in case of probit and logit models, uh, we cannot use the uh, usual ordinary least square, but instead of using ordinary least square estimation, uh, we use maximum likelihood estimation method. Uh, there is no real reason which one to prefer uh, between the two. We may use either probit or logit, uh, but uh, traditionally uh, we see that um, a, la a large number of researchers uses the logit model mainly because the logistic function le leads to a more easily computed model. However, uh, some other researchers also use uh, probit models. Uh, probit is easy to compute with standard packages and is more popular. However, both of these models can be uh, estimated using stata and uh, views or other models, even SPSS can also be used. Interpretation of uh, probits and logits in particular versus linear probability model. In general, we care about the effect of x on probability of y equals 1 given x. That is, we can we care about the partial of p with respect to uh, one unit change in x given all other variables constant. For the linear case, this is easily computed as the coefficient on x. 
for the nonlinear probit and logit models it's more complicated and uh, it is given like this a partial of uh, p by partial of xj is equal g uh, beta naught plus xb times beta j uh, how can we interpret that it is clear that it is incorrect to adjust to to just compare the coefficients across the three models uh, we can compare the signs and significance based on a standard t test of coefficients are low and uh, to compare the magnitude of effects we need to calculate derivatives uh, say at the means uh, state i can do that for us in the case of a probit model uh, the likelihood ratio test unlike the linear probability models where we can compute an f statistic or a lagrange multiplier statistic to test exclusion restrictions we need a new type of test maximum likelihood estimation will always produce a log likelihood test that is called l just as in nf test we estimate the restricted and unrestricted model then we form lagrange is equal to 2 times uh, log likelihood unrestricted minus log likelihood restricted as a chi square distribution with q degrees of freedom goodness of fit unlike the linear probability model where we can compute an r square to judge goodness of fit we need new methods of goodness of fit one possibility is a pseudo r square based on the log likelihood and defined as 1 minus log likelihood of the unrestricted model divided by log likelihood of the restricted equation we can also look at the percent correctly predicted if predicted a probability of greater than 0.5 then that matches y is equal to 1 and vice versa latent variables sometimes binary dependent variable models are motivated through a latent variables model the idea is that there is an underlying variable y star that can be modeled as follows that y star is equal to beta naught plus x beta plus e but we only observe y is equal to 1 if y star is greater than 0 and y is equal to 0 if y star is less than or equal to 0. So, this y star is known as a latent variable. The Tobit model. We can also have latent variable models that do not involve binary dependent variables. Say for example, y star is equal to x beta plus u, where uh, u given x has a normal distribution with 0 mean and uh, uh, sigma square as a variance. But we only observe y. The Tobit, the Tobit model uses maximum likelihood estimation to estimate both beta and alpha for this model. But it is important to realize that beta estimates the effects of x on y star, the latent variable, not y. How can we interpret the Tobit model? unless the latent variable y star is what is of interest cannot just interpret the coefficient so we have a situation like this if normality or homoscedasticity fail to hold the tober the, the tobit model may be meaningless if the effect of x on probability of y is greater than 0 and expected value of y are of the opposite signs the Tobit model is inappropriate. Censored regression models and truncated regression models. I have already uploaded some models uh, that involve censored regressions as well as truncated regressions. More general latent variable model can also be estimated. Say, Oi is equal to x beta plus u that has a normal distribution with zero mean and uh, variance sigma square. But we only observe W is uh, equal to minimum of YC uh, if right sen censored, or W is equal to maximum of Y and C if left censored. Truncated regression 
occurs when rather than being censored the data is missing beyond a, a censoring point sample selection corrections if a sample is truncated in a non random way then ols suffers from selection bias and we can think of as being like omitted variable bias where what is omitted is how are selected into the sample so the expected value of y given z and s is equal 1 is equal to x beta plus uh, uh, rho times lambda is some function of z and gamma uh, where uh, gamma c is uh, the inverse mills ratio and given by this function we need an estimate of lambda so estimate a probit of s where y is observed on z these estimates of uh, gamma can then be used along with z to form the inverse mill ratio then we can justify to regress y on x and the estimated lambda to get consistent estimates of beta and it is important that x be a subset of z otherwise it will only be identified by functional form that is and gentlemen this is a brief introduction about uh, econometric models involving limited dependent variables and in today's uh, video lecture we discussed uh, the comparison of a linear probability model with the probit and logit models then we also discussed a tobit model uh, censored regression and truncated regression uh, i hope you found it as a, an informative video if you like the video you can share it with the other friends and colleagues and if you haven't yet subscribed to this video channel you may subscribe to it and do not forget to click on bell icon so that you can get uh, early notification about uh, some other useful videos that i'll upload for you uh, soon uh, thank you very much for watching